Benjamin Franklin said, fear is living proof that God loves us and wants us to be happy. There's a movement in America lifting beer to new heights, and Garrett Oliver is at the forefront. Beer aficionados around the world applaud his handmade brews on par with the finest wines. His signature Brooklyn lager is a rich adaptation of a German-style cold fermented lager, mixed with a British-style dry hopping technique, resulting in a uniquely American beer, considered by many as one of the finest examples of microbrewing in the U.S. Beer is a very strange food in that most people who drink it every day have not the slightest idea what it actually is. I'm Garrett Oliver. I am the brewmaster of the Brooklyn Brewery. What beer actually is, is it's starting with barley malt. We're crushing the grain, mixing it with hot water, and at very specific temperatures, enzymes are activated and break down all the starch into sugars. So whenever you make a fermented beverage, you have to have sugar to ferment. First thing in the morning, we're doing the mash. So right now it's a starchy porridge, and give it about an hour or so, and it will be a very sugary porridge. Then we transfer over to the louder ton, and it has a sieve at the bottom, and you spray down hot water on top of the grain and rinse all the sugars away from the grain husk. And we collect the sugars in the kettle, and that's called the wort. And this is really what's telling you how clear the word is flowing here. And it's the word you're gonna end up fermenting. We bring it to a boil, we add the hops, the boiling extracts the bitterness and flavors and aromas from the hops. We cool the whole thing down, we add some yeast, and within a few days, you actually have beer. If someone came directly out of the 1800s, and saw our brewing process, they would recognize all of it. We're making the beer pretty much by hand, and I think that comes through in the actual flavor of the beer. I think the dry hopping's just been great for the white ale. It's starting to become easy. <laughs> Andrew is assistant brewmaster, and if I'm the chef of the brew house, Andrew is the sous chef. This is Monster. He is the brewery cat. We have about eight tons of malted barley on the floor here, and he makes sure that we do not have any mice. It's much more fun to be a brewer in the United States, because if you're in Germany, you have to brew German-style beer. And if you're in England, you brew English-style beer. Here, we can draw our influences from everywhere. So our flagship, for example, Brooklyn Lager, was originally a German style, and then we applied a British technique to it called dry hopping where we steep some of the hops in the finished beer after it's finished with the fermentation to give you extra aroma. And it becomes an American beer, unique to itself. So nothing else really tastes like Brooklyn Lager. This was one of the great brewing centers of the world. Brooklyn had 48 breweries at the turn of the last century in 1900. So when people say, oh my god, a brewery in Brooklyn, they don't realize that we have this huge history behind us. It's just like coffee and olive oil and everything else. We're part of an expanded food culture, and it's a brand new world. Your average little deli in my neighborhood in Brooklyn has 60, 70, 80 beers, and that's now normal. I really could pour a big pint directly out of that tank and drink this exactly the way it is right now. The beers that you get in the mass market, if you ever wonder why there's so much advertising and there are race cars and there are neons everywhere and the can still costs 75 cents, that's because there's nothing in the can. Those beers are popular because they're flavorless. There's nothing there to dislike. You can be so bland that you don't turn anybody off or you can bring the noise and put lots of flavor into it, and some people are gonna like it, and some people aren't gonna like it, and that's okay. We're not trying to reach everybody. We want people who want actual, real flavor in their beer. God, what a great aroma that has. I could drink it just like that. I think of it as starting from grain to glass. I start off with uh, the grains and the hops, etc., and my job is finished when your glass is empty.